Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Space News Pod. This is a show about SpaceX, NASA, and space flight. My name is Bill Walden. I'm your host. And today we're going to be talking about a company named Max Space and the idea of building massive, massive, massive inflatable space stations on Mars? What is this? What is this thing? I'm not 100% sure that this is even feasible, but according to Max Space, within the next 10 years, we're going to have stadium-sized space stations in the orbit of the Earth, but also space stations on the surface of Mars, possibly in Mars orbit, anywhere in the solar system. And most of these, every component could be flown on a SpaceX Falcon 9, and in the future for the stadium, the massive ones could be launched on a SpaceX Starship. Now, these things have been tried in the past, and some of them successful and some of them not so successful. But right now, there are two that we know of. One of the co-founders of this company actually has two inflatable modules in space right now, and they've been orbiting the Earth for a while. Now, I want to tell you about Max Space. They just released a, kind of a press release recently, and I'm going to talk about some of the points of this press release. 40 years of building successful space companies is Max Space to entrepreneurs. Aaron Kemmer, who's the co-founder of Max Space, and said that they're going to bring this technology to light in the next few years. I don't even understand this because it's so wild. I love to bring you wild stuff. Let's roll the clip. Here you can see they're building a lunar module mock-up, but also they have a clip of the interior of one of these modules. Absolutely massive amount of space for anybody that's traveling to space. So that was wild, right? You can see that there's an inflatable space station ready to be built. All of these modules can be connected. You can get different sizes, different shapes. They can do different things like uh, medical. Um, they could be a sleeping pod. There could be something like um, a workout pod. These things could be built into anything you wanted, or maybe like they want to do, they want to do a space hotel. They want to make it into a tourism destination. Put a couple of these pods up in space in orbit fly people up there on a Falcon 9, dock with it. It'll be sturdy enough to do all this stuff, by the way. It's not inflatable like, um, you know, like a pool toy or something like that. It's very structurally rigid. So it can handle anything the space station can handle. And then some. It's actually more protected from uh, projectiles in the space station, which is incredible. Um, they want to disrupt space, the space flight industry. They want to disrupt um space tourism because right now there's only a few things you can do in space you can fly to space and orbit the earth you can go to the space station and that's about it but in the future if max space is successful they're going to allow people to go to space and live in a space hotel for a little while it's like an airbnb in space how cool is that or maybe you know maybe there's a shorter duration where you do get to orbit the earth a bunch of times then come back down dock with a falcon 9 come back down or with the dragon sorry the crew dragon and then come back down to earth um you know when your mission is done and think about the scientific benefits of having a massive space station not only can you have space to do things room to do things but you can bring up equipment say on a spacex starship Massive equipment that you could feed into this thing um, in the future or masses of equipment, not massive, because we don't know what the ports are going to be like on this in the future, but masses of equipment, tonnage of equipment that you can put into low earth orbit inside of one of these modules. Sounds pretty impressive, right? And the co-owners or the co-founders um, and Aaron Kemmer and, uh, Maximum De Jong, um, Max is a visionary in this space. Designer, engineer, manufacturing, space deployment, everything has already been done by Max, and he's built first two inflatable spacecraft 
pressure hulls, Genesis 1 and Genesis 2, which are circling the globe right now. So there's a proven track record from from at least Max going forward and also Aaron um, as sort of like a... Aaron's the kind of the business guy behind this, as far as I know. And Max is the engineering brains behind it. But they do have a small team that they're working with to get this done. Now, if they can get this, let me know in the comments down below what you think could be a benefit for this. Uh, medicine in space, they could open up so many different avenues. Medicine in space, um, engineering in space, space construction. Think about that. This could be a way for them to store like storage modules as well in space. So if you bring up pieces for, I don't know, a habitat in space, um, some other sort of habitat in space or some spacecraft where you need, there's a bunch of small parts that you need to put into one spot. This could be the way to do it. And you could transport them from either a starship or a Falcon nine, and you could transport them and store them there until they're needed after you build the rest of the platform until you put all these modules together. The thing is, you could build these modules, according to them, kind of as big as you want to. And what's really cool about this is that they can build something as big as the space station or a little bit bigger for a fraction of the cost. The space station costs $100 billion to run over the time that it's been up in space. And they think that they can get it down to about $1 billion dollars in operational cost to build this thing in space, fly these and put them in space. So if they could cut it down to a billion dollars, imagine the cost savings for that. And also imagine what else they could put into space for $100 billion, how large that space station would be. So they're saying uh, a, a stadium size, like a, like a football or soccer field size to begin with, like that's what's what they're aiming for. Bigger than the ISS, they want to be bigger than the ISS, and there's more room inside than the ISS. And also, there's no reason why they can't go bigger than that. Um, they're in microgravity, so the gravity isn't going to be yanking down on either end of this thing. It's going to float around the whole orbit of the Earth. I mean, the possibilities are endless up here, you know, with these modules. So. I just want to let you know about it because I think it's a really impressive idea and they have a really impressive track record as well. Um, Max, especially Aaron as well. Aaron is, he's had a couple uh, space programs, uh, space companies in the past made in space, which is space manufacturing magic, which is an AI assistant. He's also a former board member of Redwire space uh, and he exited in 2021. He's a board member of Outpost Space and a prolific space angel investor. That's what Aaron is. And Max is a visionary in design, engineering, and manufacturer of space deployment architecture. So he built the first two inflatable spacecraft, and they're in orbit still. So that's pretty good uh, as of right now. So Aaron, uh, prestigious 30 under 30 Forbes list as well. So business is in Aaron's blood. Uh, let's see, Aaron led made in space to fly dozens of successful space missions and over 250 million dollars in nasa contracts aaron holds six patents in space related tech with four additional patents pending so i may have gotten a little bit wrong about aaron i thought aaron was an angel investor to begin with here and i know he's he's run some businesses in the past and he has some patents so i didn't i didn't say that in the beginning so i'm like coming back full circle here to let you know about this and then red wire space um of course, working right now with Max Space. Wild, 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 wild. So anyway, let me know down in the comments below what you think the most beneficial thing would be for um, for these modules, because they seem absolutely ridiculous, and I can't wait to see the first flight and to see this thing expand. It's going to be wild. I hope we have cameras. hope there's a, a dragon capsule or something up there that can film this. Or they, they pop out a little module with a with a camera. That would be great. But we'll see. We'll see what happens in the near future. And I hope it's successful. That's all I can say. I hope it's successful. It's going to be wild. All right. Thanks, everybody. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you in the next one.